Hello friends, I am architect Sonu Rai from Green Landscape and Architectural Design Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to discuss about some basic tools in Photoshop like uh, Move tool and Marquee tool in which there are four types rectangular marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool, single row marquee tool and single column marquee tool and lasso tool in which there are also three types lasso tool, polygon lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool lasso tool so these all are very handy in uh, photoshop uh, rendering in architecture so we need to understand these basic tools and only we can enhance our skills in photoshop and slowly slowly you can develop your own skills for architecture part so i'm going to start with this move tool and uh, here is my a4 sheet and i want to uh, move some images so Move tool is basically used to move any images inside our sheets or from outside. So I am going to uh, to this image. I am going to move this, and it's already converted into layer. So we can easily move this image by move tool, and we can drag to uh, our sheet. I am going to my uh, sheet here. And I'm going to my default sheet and I'm going to uh, this, uh, move this image and bring to my page here and now it's you can adjust the sizes here by control T control T is used to scale the image and you can uh, move to your desired scale here now you can finish this similarly way you can move uh, this image anywhere in the suits in the middle by dragging this and uh, automatic layer is created here and then next is if you want to move some other images like i want to move this image into my suits then we can uh, we have to convert this sorry this image is not converted into layer so we can't uh, move it first we need to convert to normal layer you can do it by double clicking here and you can convert the layer or also you can right click and convert to layer option you can select now we can move these images and we can take it to our seats move it our sheets and now this is very big size in a scale so you have to select ctrl t and you have to alt and scroll your mouse to zoom in zoom out and this image is very uh, high in resolution so size is big so you can use a scale to fit into the sheet so now alt and scroll your mouse it is transforming because the image resolution is big so it will take time to fit into this sheet wait till that time so uh, it is converted to excels you can also again adjust the sizes and you can bring it anywhere as per your design, anywhere you can bring the switch. The next is a rectangular marquee tool. A rectangular marquee tool is very handy. I am going to select this and you can select anywhere in the seats and you can make adjustment of rectangular marquee tool like width and height. Any uh, rectangular shape you can draw. And this uh, now you can create layer later on and fill with the textures or color so I'm going to use make a layer here and I'm going to select any color here for time being and I'm going to use my paint bucket tool for command G and now you can fill with any color so likewise uh, uh, you can do you can use control D to get rid of this rectangular market tool and now I am again going to use my rectangular market tool and I am going to draw any market tool rectangular shape 
and now here I have some uh, digits for selection for creating new uh, market tool and every time if I am drawing uh, market tool the previous one will get delete off so uh, if you want to add to this selection you have to select this add tool selection market tool if you want to add something create any other shape also and this shape will be added to the selection likewise you can use this add subtraction for um, rectangular market tool and this, may, uh, this will be subtract from the selection so this is for subtraction and this is for addition and here it is intersection so only part which is intersected between any shapes will be left behind so i am going to make an intersection of this so only this intersection part is left and likewise you can create any shapes and you can create a layer and you can fill with the or with the pen bucket tool you can make side plans also and anything which we have to develop your own skills so I'm going to use Control D, and now uh, next is elliptical market tool. The process is also same like a rectangular market tool, and it is draw to uh, it is used to draw ellipse and circle. So if you click on anywhere in on your sheet and drag this to uh, left or right elliptical shape will be drawn and you have to make sure that you should not leave your left mouse click it will leave it will be left to the same shape same size if you want to draw bigger the sizes are depending on your scroll mouse left click do not leave that so i am going to draw some elliptical shape here and now the process is same if you want to add to some selection you can add any elliptical shape here you can draw interesting shapes and also you can subtract from this selection it will be subtracted now on intersection part the intersection will be left like this so i'm going to use ctrl d now again i'm going to select this elliptical marker tool and now i'm going to use shift on my keyboard so now you can see that circle is drawn if you use a click and left mouse on click uh, then you will be able to draw circle shift on your keyboard and left mouse click you can draw circle you can fill with any color now i am going to discuss about uh, single row market tool i am going to select this single row market tool and i am going to click on my sheet and at first instance it seems that it's not drawn but if you zoom it then you can see the line is very thin so it is uh, used to draw uh, very thin lines uh, vertical or horizontal so i am going to make a layer for this and i am going to my uh, edit and now i am going to give this a stroke and uh, i am going to use this 30 pixels and color is red i am going to give it ok so you can see very uh, line is drawn so sometimes it is very handy and now the next is single column market tool so it is in column shape i'm going to draw anywhere and if you zoom your shapes it is drawn i'm going to uh, draw another layer or you can use the same layer and you can go to edit stroke and again 30 pixels so you can see this single uh, column market tool is used sometimes and you can make portfolio like this 
and the next is lasso tool so, so lasso tool is used to draw freehand selection so uh, suppose i want to uh, move any uh, images suppose i want to select these columns and move it to here with free selection so in draw freehand selections and using lasso tool and we can after making you can move it using your uh, shift key so we have to select it uh, in its background first and I am going to use this lasso tool freehand selection and I am going to quickly move this with the use of move tool and now you can bring it to your seat and you can adjust the sizes so this is free hands that's a tool is like a free hand selection and if, uh, if you want any other things also you can use lasso tool In this selection, use Control T. So uh, sometimes is uh, lasso tool we, we can use. The next uh, most important is polygon lasso tool in architecture. So polygon lasso tool is, is used to draw lines, and you can make it to change anything suppose I want to change the color of this slab so you can make correction using lasso tool uh, polygon lasso tool and you can create any layer here and you can change the color textures later on will understand in the color by using and control D. So sometimes it's very important. Like if you want to change the materials here, also which color you can use this method of polygon lasso tool. Create a new layer and you can change the color also. Any color you can apply your textures. So it is used for post production in Photoshop. Polygon laser tool, and this is magnetic laser tool. So it is like a magnet, and it can select automatically any portion. Suppose uh, using Control D, and I want to uh, select this boundary wall. So I am moving this cursor and you can see it is automatically selecting the outer edge of the boundary wall and your image should be very bright enough, resolution should be good so it can select freely and you move it with your left mouse click and you can see the uh, section here the edges are uh, not taken by this lasso tool uh, magnetic lasso tool the image should be clear and you can move it afterwards to your kids and adjust the image size so uh, these tools are very handy in the next uh, part I will discuss some more tools in Photoshop so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe